So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to World News 28 News Channel. So let's talk about Google One Trillion Dollar MCAT Club. Alphabet has just entered it. As Google partner Alphabet Inc. become on Thursday the fourth U.S. company to top a market value of more than one trillion dollars. Some funds holding a share are wondering whether now is the time to cash in on the stocks. Extraordinary gains. Share of this internet search giant are up nearly 17 percent over the last three months, outpacing a bottle rally in the S&P. 500 index over the same period by 6 percentage points. Short interest in the stock, a measure of how many investors are betting on a price decline, is at 1 percent near a 52 week high for the company and higher than the competitors such as Microsoft and Facebook, according to the rough native data. Alphabet, Jones, Apple's, Amazon.com, and Microsoft as the only US companies to hit. One trillion dollars market value. Google is a stock that won't get it fired, says Kevin Lannis, a portfolio manager at the first hand funds who has added to his current alphabet position since the first quarter of the 2019. Will be able to double my money in the stock from here? I'm not sure about that. Alphabet shares are among a small group of the stocks found in the top holdings of both mutual funds and hedge funds. Two types of institutional investing styles stand over markedly. Different a Goldman Sachs analysis shows that could be leave it exposed to volatile price swings if sentiment suddenly changes. Despite those concerns, many investors are finding it hard to say goodbye. The 28% claim in Alphabet and the performance of other technology and tech related stocks help money managers post big gains in 2019, making it difficult for many to justify cutting their exposure even as they fret over the implications of its run up. Honest Ramos. Portfolio manager of the BMO Large Cap Growth Fund has held on this shares, being that Alphabet exposure to the online advertising will eventually justify the average valuation. Alphabet trades at 26.6 times future earnings, compared with the 18.5 for the S&P 500. Scott Donchikai, a portfolio manager of the Buying the Focus Fund, has held up adding to a long-standing position over the last year, concerned that the company's costs are likely to increase due to its efforts to preempt any additional regulatory measures from Washington. So if you like the channel, subscribe to it.